Title Town takes on a whole new meaning for every girls basketball team in the state this year. With the WIA State Girls Basketball Tournament coming to Green Bay for the first time in history, every single squad in Wisconsin is hoping to hop on the road to the Resch, which ultimately will lead them to, to Championship Saturday and a chance to hoist that gold ball on March 16th. And we start in Division One, where the defending champions are riding a 42-game winning streak into the tournament, of course, led by Morgan Anderson, the deep threat artist, and Kayla Dawson, very powerful inside, but a wealth of weapons around them from Claire Emmerich to Bailey Ryan to Heidi Bohr. Madeline Miller, their point guard, hardly ever takes a shot because, quite frankly, she doesn't need to. So many weapons for De Pere. And, of course, the Redbirds looking to continue that streak but ultimately win their second straight title and pretty much they've taken on all comers from Milwaukee Riverside early on to Algoma, a D4 power. Kimberly, a very good team in the regional. They've beaten them all with Kelly McNiff at the helm leading her team, looking to win two straight titles. But meanwhile, also in their conference, you have a very good Bayport team. They went down to the pier earlier in the season, but overall, Bayport, when you have a weapon like Chelsea Nooker all the way around, one of the best players in the area, along with Claire Jordan and Morgan Freeman. Don't count all the Pirates in that sectional semifinal, possibly against the Pier. Meanwhile, Division Two, Sarah Boyer has her squad maybe ready for another trip in the D2 state tournament, as you have Allison LeClaire, the outstanding junior, the UWGB recruit, and she's also got a lot of good weapons around her, none better than maybe Brianna Byrne, and also Eliza Campbell doing all the little things, assists, steals, rebounds, for that Notre Dame squad as they look to maybe see Beaver Dam, who got them early in the season, much like last year, but trying to get Beaver Dam maybe in that sectional final once again this year. To D3, where we have the defending champion, Kiwani Storm, coming in. Only one loss on the season, and they have five senior starters that all have over three years of varsity experience, led by Jill Kleiman. You also have Kelsey Stangle, Alex Richard, very good post players, and along with Kylie Heim and Amanda Kudik, Lindgaier's squad looks poised to maybe make another run at a third straight state appearance. It's going to be tough in that D3 field. You've got a lot of good teams like Wrightstown and Manitowoc, Ron Kai. Then on the other side of the bracket, you have Fox Valley, Lutheran, Appleton, Xavier. So a lot of good, talented teams in that D3 field for Kiwani to contend with. And one of those being locally, O'Connell Falls. How about O'Connell Falls this year? McKenna Larson, outstanding, already as a junior, goes over 1,000 points. And the Panthers really dominant with her leading the helm. But they're not just a one-trick pony, this Panthers team. Overall, you look at size. They have Carly Lemke, a six-foot-one junior forward inside. They gave New London a test. So it'll be interesting to see what O'Connell Falls can do in that D3 back. In D4, you have Algoma led by senior Taylor Schmidt. And they have so many weapons around them. So many shooters and that pressure defense that Coach Mark Zastro has employed has carried over as they had to replace six seniors from a year ago. They lost Oshkosh Shalor in the sectional semifinals a year ago. Two years ago, we're state runners-up in D4. This year, with all that talent, you have Meg, Meg Ryan and company as well with Schmidt. It should be interesting to see what the Wolves can do. Also, a couple of freshmen, Anna Deer and Bailey Delore. It could be huge for the Wolves in their tournament run as they hope to make it to the D4 state tournament and possibly win their first gold ball since 1986. Also in D4, they'd have to see an Ocontal team in a sectional final from the Packland Conference that they're very familiar with. Of course, led by Lincoln James. She's getting a lot of D1 looks as a junior. She went over 1,000 points. But the thing that could help out the Blue Devils is some compliments to James, like Am Emily Shallow making some big shots. I mean, you look at Ocanto, the only four losses they've had all season have come to Kiwani and Algoma. They've beaten some good teams like O'Connell Falls and Green Bay Southwest, so it'll be interesting to see what the Blue Devils do. And lastly, in Division 5, we have NEW Lutheran, 11-11 on the season, but you look at 7-1 in non-conference games. Out of the Packland, led by Jackie Milky, who went over 1,000 points this year, the first player to do so. They won a regional title last year. Could be a sleeper team in D5 along with Gibraltar. So there you go, a look at some of the top local teams looking to get on that road to the Resh. Of course, it's going to be the first time the girls' state basketball tournament is going to be held in Green Bay, March 14th through the 16th. And we'd love to have some local representation there like we've had in recent years. And of course, it should be great with all the greatest teams congregating on Title Town for that event. Best of luck to all the local teams, and it should be fun. March 14th through the 16th, the culmination of the road to the rush for the WIA Girls State Basketball Championships.